Today, I want to touch on the topic of managing both your team and personal projects. You see, each project is subject to the same law, the Death Valley. When you get started, there is a burst of energy. You are coming up with new ideas, taking new assignments without any sign of fear. But then, energy spreads, but results are far from the expectations and the end of the project is far away. Then comes the valley of death. So, the death valley comes from so-called emotional cycle of change, and here is its graph. Until I learned about the death valley, all of my pet projects look like this. Numerous hacking projects and ultimate hacking tools were buried by the enormous weight of the death valley. The emotional cycle of change consists of five stages. Let's say you are picking up a new hacking project. Stage 1. Uninformed optimism. Your hacking target is new and tempting. You will learn so many new skills. Or maybe even you get to practice something you waited forever to get your hands on. And imagine this hacking thrill when you finally pawned your target in so many ways. Hack. You can even get decent money out of it, if your target has bug bounty. Pure pleasure. Stage 2. Informed pessimism. You spend so much time and effort with almost no feasible results. New tricks you hope to learn seem not working, or maybe you aren't that smart to pull them off. It's becoming obvious that your target isn't exactly a piece of cake. Maybe it's even that one time when your target is well programmed and has proper protection measures implemented. Stage 3. Valley of Death or Valley of Despair. It's the lowest point. So far, it seems that you achieved exactly nothing. With no vulnerabilities found, you feel like your target is either impenetrable or you are too stupid. Maybe you just lost it. Maybe you are not good enough for hacking. Not even speaking about bug bounties. And with so much time spent and no benefits gained, maybe it's just not worth it. Maybe it's time to give up. Stage 4. Informed optimism. You did something and suddenly things uh, seem not as dark as they used to be. Maybe you took a break to come up with new ideas, talk to a mentor, research your target hard enough to get an insight, or maybe just found uh, one minor bug that showed you that your target is not perfect. Either way, you are starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. Stage 5. Success and fulfillment. You finally did it, you sneaky bastard. Slowly but surely you hack the poop out of it. You finally start feeling like yourself again, and you're feeling proud of your new achievement. You're thinking there might be some lessons out there, but what are they? And now I'm gonna give you three easy tricks to finally overcome this issue once and for all. No, 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 no. I won't, I'm sorry. That's just not how things work in real life. I'll give you some tips that might help you manage Death Valley. But it's always gonna be there. And it's up to you to find your own personal best way of getting out of it. No matter what you start, if this is something new for you, you will always end up in the valley. Your emotion graph might look different, but the Death Valley will come nevertheless. It's the law of psychology. When the despair hit, and I start thinking maybe this whole project is a total fail from the very beginning, it helps me to remember that this is only a stage and it will pass like all the stages before it. Often the valley comes when there is too much effort spent with a very little result, and your energy is split into thin layer across many different points. Maybe your goals are too ambitious and you should split them into multiple projects. It's a good idea to cut from your project anything that isn't 100% essential. 
make it as bare bones as you can, just to make it possible to get out of the valley. And you can always add more features, polish it and add more stuff later on. Resolve as much uncertainty as you can. Sometimes when you are doing something new, there is so much uncertainty going on that you can barely manage it. But you can always make a plan for your project, resolving any uncertainties that you have. I usually like to ask for help with it, because uh, I often find myself too confused with uh, all this entanglement of emotion that goes on. Dealing with uncertainties and making decisions is uh, really hard on our brains, so eliminating all this really helps to get out of the valley. So please, please don't give up. It's always better to complete a sh project than never finish a perfect one. Just finish it, make new project and do it 1% better. Not 100%, not 10%, just 1% better. So those were my thoughts on project and change management. I think that skill of dealing with the valley of death might be the most important skill for my entire career. And the good thing is that you can use it everywhere, as uh, the emotional cycle of change is uh, universal across all humans. I go through it on every video I make, and this knowledge helps me not to give up. If you feel like you're stuck in the valley of death, and can't get out despite all of your best efforts. Please leave me a comment and I'll try to help you. I'd like to thank you for the enormous amount of feedback and support you give me. When I ask you for feedback about my hacking course, 11 of you have filled the form. This might not sound like a lot, but uh, it was 10% uh, of all viewers at the time, and this number is uh, much higher than everything I hope to achieve. And you didn't stop on that. Since the beginning of this channel, I've got so many supportive and helpful comments from you guys. And I thought I should take a time to say a huge thank you to all of you. Anyways. I hope you found this video helpful. If that's the case, consider giving me a like to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And please tell me your thoughts on those not so technical videos. Should I continue making them? Maybe one in uh, four or five videos will be about soft skills? Please let me know in the comments. You watched Path CyberSec, this was Slava Masquin, and as always, Happy hacking, you guys!